Finding humor and inspiration is what we're doing today. My name is Joan Pierce. Thank you for joining me. As I began researching jokes about aging, many of the quotes that I found that were either inspiring or humorous were shared by those who themselves lived particularly long lives. That gives us hope. I hope you will enjoy this, part one of a part two series. I hope you experience the many benefits of laughter in your daily life. Laughter leads to increased heart rate, respiratory rate, and oxygen consumption. After intense laughter, the body muscles relax. Exposure to a humorous stimulus can also decrease anxiety. Laughter is associated with the improvement of natural killer cell activity, the immune cells that kill cancerous cells and prevent some types of viral illnesses. So laughter truly is good medicine. I hope you will find some things today that you find funny. When it comes to staying young, a mind lift beats a facelift any day. That's what we're going to do. We are going to have a mind lift today. These are some inspirational quotes from a book called Aged to Perfection, which I know you are. Youth is a gift of nature, but age is a work of art. You are a masterpiece. The aging process is a lot like grapes. Some turn to vinegar while the others turn to wine. And I know you are a fine wine. You have to climb the mountain to appreciate the view. I am old enough to know the rules and smart enough to break them. I know there's some people out there that that fits to a T. Young at heart, slightly older in other places. For me, it's lots of places. Growing older, we learn miracles are great, but they're so darn unpredictable. And I bet you might have even said this quote. If I'd known I was going to live so long, I'd have taken better care of myself. As we age, we should lead our life so that we won't be ashamed to sell the family parrot to the town gossip. The older we get, the more we realize after all is said and done, more is said than done. I wish I would have bottled up my energy when I was younger. As we grow older, we're a lot like plants. Some of us go to seed while others bloom profusely. And I know you're blooming out there. So here are some quotes from some famous folks who lived very long lives. Gloria Swanson said, I think this talk about age is foolish. Every time I'm one year older, everybody else is too. Now that's a good way to look at it. Gloria lived 84 years. Fred Astaire said, old age is like everything else. To make a success of it, you've got to start young. Fred Astaire was a dancer, singer, actor, choreographer, television presenter, widely considered the most influential dancer in the history of film. He lived 88 years. The poet and children's author Elizabeth Coatsworth said, Outwardly, I'm 83, but inwardly, I'm every age with the emotions and experience of each period. How brilliant. She lived 93 years. Satchel Paige said, work like you don't need the money. Love like you've never been hurt. Dance like nobody's watching. Leroy Robert Satchel Paige was an American Negro League Baseball and Major League Baseball pitcher who is noted for his longevity in the game. He lived to 75. Mark Twain said, A lie can run around the world six times while the truth is still trying to put on its pants. Boy, isn't that the truth. And wrinkles should merely indicate where smiles have been. 
I hope that you have smiley wrinkles. Mark Twain lived 74 years. Betty Davis, Betty Davis eyes, lived 81 years. She said, old, place, old age is no place for sissies. Another true statement. Good old George Burns passed at the ripe old age of 100. You can't help getting older, but you don't have to get old, he said. He was one of the few entertainers whose career successfully spanned vaudeville, radio, film, and television. Frank Lloyd Wright said, the trick is to grow up without growing old. And he lived 91 years. Bob Hope said, you know you're getting old when the candles cost more than the cake. He also lived to be 100 years old. I bet it had to do with all the laughing that he did and all the laughter that he shared. J.B. Priestley lived to be 89 and said, when I was young, there was no respect for the young. And now that I'm old, there's no respect for the old. I missed coming and going. Billy Casper, a golfer, lived to be 83 years old. And he said, like a lot of fellas out there, I have a furniture problem. My chest has fallen into my drawers. Poet Robert Frost lived 88 years and he shared a diplomat is a man who always remembers his wife's birthday, but never remembers her age. What a good guy. Bette Midler is still vibrant at age 74. She said, after 30, a body has a mind of its own. I think mine had a mind of its own even before then. <laughs> Inside every 70-year-old is a 35-year-old asking what happened. This is a quote from Ann Landers. For 56 years, the Ask Ann Landers syndicated advice column was read across North America. She lived 83 years. She also said, at age 20, we worry about what others think of us. At age 40, we don't care what they think of us. At age 60, we discover they haven't been thinking of us at all. <laughs> Dorothy Parker, writer and poet, lived 73 years and she said, take it easy. That's all you have to do. You're the only one who is passionately interested in your age. Other people have their own troubles. Another true statement. By the time we hit 50, we have learned our hardest lessons. We have found out that only a few things are real important. We have learned to take life seriously, but never ourselves. Marie Dressler, actress, said that. George Burns again, retirement at 65 is ridiculous. When I was 65, I still had pimples. <laughs> Agatha Christie said, an archeologist is the very best husband any woman can have. The older she gets, the more interested he is in her. And Agatha lived 85 years. Joan Baez, who's still alive, said, You don't get to choose how you're going to die or when. You can only decide how you're going to live now. What a great statement. She will be receiving the Woody Guthrie Prize on Folk Music and it is honoring her groundbreaking career and impact on humanitarian issues. She is still alive and receiving awards at age 79. Winston Churchill said, I'm ready to meet my maker. Whether my maker is prepared for the ordeal of meeting me 
is another matter. How funny. He lived 90 years. Jack Benny. You know, Jack Benny was always 39. He said, no matter how often I tell people I'm 39, some of them refuse to believe I'm that old. He lived 80 years. Good old Jack Benny. Billy Joel is also still active at age 71. He said, I may be an antique like the Rolling Stones, but antiques are valuable, and so are you. You matter. Kathy Ireland is still going strong at age 57. She's one of the wealthiest former, former models in the world. Beauty comes in all ages, colors, shapes, and forms, she said. God never makes junk. Maggie Coon said, I enjoy my wrinkles and regard them as badges of distinction. I've worked hard for them. Maggie Coon was an American activist known for founding the Grey Panthers movement after she was forced to retire at the then mandatory retirement age of 65. The Grey Panthers became known for advocating nursing home reform and fighting ageism, claiming that old people and women constitute America's biggest untapped and undervalued human energy source. She lived 89 years. Keith Richards said, Getting old is a fascination thing. The older you get, the older you want to get. He's still rocking at the age of 76. Musician, singer, and songwriter, co-founder, guitarist, secondary vocalist, and co-principal songwriter of the Rolling Stones is known for rock's greatest single body on riffs on guitar. George H. W. Bush, I think this is one of my favorite quotes in this whole uh, session. I have long thought that the aging process could be slowed down if it had to work its way through Congress. George lived 94 years. The older you get, the more important it is not to act your age said Ashley Brilliant, creator of Pot Shot Cartoons. He's still alive at the age of 86. Ronald Reagan said, middle age is when you're faced with two temptations and you choose the one that will get you home by nine o'clock. Ronald Reagan lived 93 years. Dwight Eisenhower said, I'm saving that rocker for the day that I feel as old as I really am. American Army General who served as the 34th President of the United States lived 78 years. Dr. Ben Spock said, there are only two things a child will share willingly, communicable diseases and his mother's age. Dr. Ben Spock. His common sense advice shaped parenting practice for half of a century. He is the author of 11 books. He was a political activist for children's causes. His book has been translated into 39 languages. He was one of the most influential figures of our time by changing the way the world raised their children. The idea is to die young as late as possible, said Ashley Montague. He was a pioneering anthropologist and author, and he lived 94 years. So I hope you have enjoyed these wise and inspirational quotes on aging and that you laughed a bit too. Have a wonderful day. Keep smiling and keep laughing.